What well, is good, killers? Welcome back to another episode of Catching Slabs. I had to break the jacket out this morning. It's a little cool. It's approximately way too early. We had a little secret spot this morning. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't been here in a long time. I'm gonna show y'all right quick. Might give y'all a little hint, but I do not remember it being this steep last time I come down here. Probably don't look that bad from right here on camera, but it drops off fast. We got to hurry up though, it's prime time. See the sun over there just getting up. Let's see how this goes. Oh, thank goodness. All right, we made it down here. Maybe this will give y'all some better context. I just run up and down that hill like five times. I got my workout in this morning for sure. I don't know how I'm getting back up there yet, but we'll figure that out when we get back. Go ahead and try to get tied up before we start moving. If y'all seen the last video, I lost my silver spook. I still got this white one, so we'll start out with this little thing. The last time I was actually here was back when I was playing Little League Baseball. And that's kind of crazy to think about. But my Little League coach, probably my favorite coach I've ever had in all my years of baseball, he would bring the whole team out here. He had a bunch of canoes. He'd bring the whole team out here every Saturday. Well, we go to different places, but this was one of them. And we'd float all the way down to the next bridge. And that was really in my earliest stages of fishing. That was before I ever got into it, really. But I tell you what, that's some of the best memories I ever had. And back then, this place was, I mean, loaded. I think one day we come out here, somebody caught like 60 or 80 fish in one day. I mean, that's insane. The only bad thing about this place compared to a little bit bigger river is as you can tell already, there's stuff all in the water. And that's good for fishing. But I remember when we used to come out here, we'd have to cross logs, had to drag the canoes through like little rock sections. So it was a lot of getting out. It probably happened at least once every time we come though. Somebody would be getting out across the log or something and it, they'd fall in. I know I did it a couple of times. It used to suck too. You'd have to go the rest of the way soaking wet. Oh, we got lucky on this one. She tipped over, but she ain't making it all the way across. We got a little gap we can make it through over here. All right, we made it to one of those first little rock beds I was talking about. Let's pick us a path and go through. I broke my rod right there. That's a giant rock right there to the left. I swear the GoPro's bad look. I was just about to change my battery. Looky there. He was right where he was supposed to be too. All right, we broke the ice. I'm fitting to get in the zone now. Right up on this little lay down right here to my right. Hopefully we can find this one about two, three times that size right there. But hey, I'll take it first one. I think I just saw the biggest snapping turtle I've ever seen in my life. If that was a turtle buddy, that was gigantic. Like the turtle man would have been scared of that one. Dang, come back for it. There he is. There we go. Let's go, that was awesome. Oh, come on. Easy buddy, easy. Why do they always do that? Hey, I was actually recording that time. But he's, he did like a lot of them been doing. He popped it. He actually came back for it and got it. It's number two though. Nice little creek bass. Now we done found us a boat up here in the dock. Don't look like nobody's been on that little boat in a while. They got a badass Yeti cooler up there though. Finally hitting our first little piece of sunshine. And it's the first big bend in the creek um this bend means that we are about at our halfway point though there's a bite oh look at there first one on the worm might have to start tossing this thing around man that fish is cold that's number three took us a while but just had to switch up tactics a little bit Later, buddy. I'm gonna eat my breakfast while we sitting right here, not moving. 
All right, back to fishing. Well, oh, wish I had that one on camera. Got hung up on that log, so pulled up there to get it off. And he come out from under the log and ate it. Had to swap my batteries out again. Imagine that. But uh, I got hung up on that log, so I turned the camera off, pulled up there to get it off. Fish come up and get it. Pretty cool, too. I saw him come up and eat it and everything. We made it to the second big bend in the creek. So he cuts off left that way is a point right here and it wraps back around to the right where we just come from and that means we are halfway so i might go up a little bit farther to the left but turn around right here and start heading back i ain't gonna lie it's been nice just kind of drifting downstream but I had to keep in mind that we got to paddle back up to get back to the vehicle so this should be pretty fun stop and take me a leap before we head back but figure while we here show y'all the rig in the water i've seen it out of the water but that's her in the water the slab catcher 3000 i got my two garmin screens at home that i got to put on the front um i just ordered me a 250 merc put on the back of this thing got two power poles on the way should be here in maybe next week no nah, for real but this is all you need right here go catch you some slabs i know plenty of people around where i stay I got bass boats, got them all fixed up, put a bunch of money into them, got all the whistles and bells, and they can't catch fish to save their life. And to be honest, I probably caught more big bass fishing out of a kayak than I ever have fishing on a boat. And I ain't talking bad on bass boats neither. I mean, I'm gonna get me a bass boat eventually. But for right now, this thing right here gets me anywhere I need to go. But yeah, just wanna give y'all a little outside look of the vessel that be catching all the pigs. All right, that's enough talking. We got a long paddle back. When I come back this afternoon, I'm gonna try to paddle up close to this spot, paddle up and then fish down back to the truck. So that ought to be a little bit easier. I might stop and fish a little bit on the way back to the truck now, but if I do, y'all will see it. If not, catch y'all at the truck. Boy, it's good to see you, Bridge. Gotta sit down for a minute. All right, so we made it back to the truck. Paddle wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but paddling was the easy part. Now we got to see if we can get this kayak back up this hill. That's gonna be the hard part. I think I'm gonna have to ditch the slides for this one. Let me just show y'all what we're working with one more time. So we're up here on the bridge. There's the kayak. Should be a breeze, right? Just a little update. It won't a breeze. But would you look at that? Alright, now we should be ready to roll. Alright, we made it back. Got the yak down there in the water ready to go. I think everything's loaded up in it. I hope so anyways. Like I said, we're gonna paddle back that way. Try to get close to where we were earlier and then fish back to right here. I already had a time getting a yak down there, just like taking it out at the last spot. I'll show y'all right quick. So you can probably see my truck up there. Had to come down the rocks, all the way around through here. And the yak's way down there. We got it going on. It's time to go catch some fish. Alrighty fools. Felt like about three hours later, but we're finally here. We ain't exactly at the spot where I stopped at earlier. We're a little bit farther down, but that's all right. This is where I wanted to um, get to anyways. I actually made a pit stop on the way here. Wanted to get me another spook from where that other one cracked. Cracked on both sides. Broke my brand new dirt bait last weekend. Four pounder took my other spook with him. I just can't catch a break with the baits, man. And check out this little thing that I found. It's a regular old spook. It's a little bit smaller size than your normal one. Look at that. It's got the popper head on it. So I'm really excited to try this little thing out. Let's get to it. First cast. Right at the boat. There we go. 
brand new spook. Hey, I'm already liking this thing. See ya, buddy. He gone. We off to a good start. Let's keep it going. There we go. Oh, that was third cast. It finally happened. That was a gar. I'm glad I didn't hook him either. Well, I'm glad I didn't catch him. I saw something waking up behind it, and next thing I know, bloosh. I've been trying to snag one like that all day. But it's very rare you'll see him do that. There we go. Oh, come off right here in the boat. I'm gonna count him though, cause he fell in the boat and bounced out. There's a fish. Trace, you got the same score like one I caught this morning. I've been doing a lot of fishing in the morning trying to get up early and go, but it just seems like the afternoon bite is always better no matter where I go. The only thing about fishing in the afternoon or the afternoon bite is I feel like I always run out of time. Another one, we the best music. Tell your mom I'm looking for. Little dude. Oh, there we go. Yes, sir. Gotcha. That was about to be bad, man. There's another one for you. This little spot right here was aggravating to get through a while ago, man. It kept pushing me out to the right, getting all in them trees. Probably gonna do the same thing right here. Oh, too bad. Oh, he wanted that thing. Looky there, looky there. Now that's the biggest one of the day for sure. That's a solid two and a half. There you go. How about that one? Get us a little picture of him. Just cause. All right, we're gonna let you go, big guy. A little two and a half. Biggest one of the trip. <laughs> he was hungry too. He come up and demolished that thing. There we go. It's a chunky little one. It's probably been 10, 15 minutes. That little dude is fat though. Check him out. Later. Bust the move. Uh, right here at the boat. It was a little guy. We're almost back to the truck. Kind of timed it about perfect, really. I ain't really worried about being on the water when it gets dark. I just hate to have to tote this thing back up that bank in the dark. That's going to be something. Speak of the devil. Ooh, putting on the show. Right on my sunglasses. One more to the book. It's bleeding a little bit, but he'll be all right. I hope he didn't mess my sunglasses up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna wrap this video up. I really 
you. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Caught us a couple little creek bass. Unfortunately, no big ones this time, but that ain't no big deal. I've definitely seen some big ones caught out of that place, so we're gonna have to get back out there and try it another time. And I wanna go do more videos like this one anyways. I wanna go one weekend and float all day and just go from one end to the other. Not have to worry about paddling back anywhere. I also wanna try to go and camp one weekend, start drifting on like a Saturday, camp out somewhere on the river that night, drift Sunday a little bit, make it kind of a whole weekend trip. I think that'd be pretty fun too. I've been enjoying fishing the river, so I wanna get back out there and do some more videos like these. I gotta get me a group of people together and maybe we could go make some of these trips happen. All you need is two people really, somebody to park on one end and park on the other end. That way you can have some transportation. I got plenty of buddies with kayaks. We just gotta find the time where our schedules line up. So hopefully some of that'll be coming in the future. Y'all stay tuned. I appreciate everybody that's been watching. That's all I got for this one. Just do me one favor. Tell your old lady I miss her. And I'll catch y'all on the flip.